everybody stay up. Cheese moving. High end radio. We on the air. Who we chopping it up with? Goldie Lope from the East Side. Of... Hey, what's up, big homie? How you doing? Oh man, I'm doing good, man. God is good. Goldie Lope. West Coast OG. We ain't even gonna go into whether they know you or not because everybody know what's happening with the East Siders. Tell us what's been going on with you, big homie. Oh, well, you know, we just been working on a new record, you know what I mean? We're going to cut a new mixtape before we drop it, you know? So we just we just been getting together and uh, getting the business side of the aspect all ironed out, you know what I mean? And just making our moves slowly but slowly, you know? Right, right. Then after this new side of the record, you know, we could drop solos. Then we got a lot of talent coming from about it, you know, the east side of Long Beach, so... You know, we're going to start, we're going to start working on that and uh, get everything back in motion. That's what's happening. That's what's happening. Um, what I'm curious to know, man, is while Trady was gone, what was your, what was your, your mind state at that time? Cause I know you put work out while he was gone at that time. Was it like, it's a little bit harder cause he was gone or it's like, damn, I got to keep it going for the homie. Explain that to us. I mean, I, I do music for me and, and the fans, you know. So, you know, I just I just kept doing what I can do, you know. As the as the game started to change and get all watered down, you know, it was like I would come around and and uh, uh, people people, you know, would uh would trip because they was on some new stuff, you know what I mean? And, and I'm trying to keep it G and and, and keep it going, and, and everybody else was on some flip flops, so. So it was cool for me to, to to hold it down while everybody else was was doing what they was doing. You know what I mean? So right, you know, it, it was a cool experience. Right. You know, when y'all hit the scene, I mean, you know, everybody, you know, you had Snoop doing this thing, you know, N.W.A. quick, but it's like when the East Siders hit the scene originally, not taking nothing from nobody else. But y'all took that gangster shit to where it's like, even though, you know, y'all from the left side, y'all still made it universal for both sides to rock on that real life gangster shit, man. So how did that formula, how did it, how did it, how did it transform into y'all music? Because like I said, y'all, y'all, even though y'all are from Long Beach, a predominantly Crip city, y'all music, when y'all first came out, appealed to everybody, both sides. Well, it's, it's, it's real music. You know what I mean? Anybody can go in there and, and just talk on the mic and, you know, uh, uh, so when we go in there, you know, we scripted some real music. We had a lot of uh, people involved in that record and, and those records, you know what I mean? We had a lot of family come in as far as like Nate Dog, Butch Cassidy, you know, it, it's a lot of characters um, smashing on one cause, you know what I mean? So that record, it, that record is real jam, it, like you can jam to that record. Right. You know, because the music, that's where we come from. We come from that old soul background, and we know how to vibe, you know what I mean? And um, the Crip movement alone is a, is a big movement. So, you know, once we got going, we are able to uplift a lot of people in the ghettos around the world, not to turn them into Crips, but, but to, to realize that, you know, promote your local talent, you know what I mean? Right. And, and we, we, we went all the way around the world jumping out of, out of planes and tour buses, you know, just letting everybody know who we were and what we what we came to do. Yeah, definitely represented, man. There was wars, it was all kind of stuff going on when we hit the scene. When we hit the scene, you know, you know, the East Coast was kind of tripping, you know what I'm saying? But when we hit the scene, they, they understood where we were coming from. Right. Absolutely. Um, Y'all was definitely one of my favorite groups out of that doghouse camp. Um... Y'all put in a lot of footwork. The beginning, the beginning movement of the of the East Siders started with uh, a lot of time like Thin Line and stuff like that with Trey D. Can you describe the early beginnings of the of the East Siders and, and that whole crew and? Oh, whatever well, you know, well, I, I wasn't I, I wasn't on this you know gang banging around that time. You know what I mean? And still doing my music and all kinds of shit like that. But uh, you know, I guess it was a clique formed in between them. And, and they were going to ride with it, you know, but for whatever reason, it fell apart. It didn't happen. You know, it didn't work, you know, whatever whatever the reason was. But when I came on the scene, it wasn't like, hey, Cody, we need you to join the East Siders. It wasn't like that. I was already uh, uh, hanging with Dog when nobody was dealing with Dog because he was, you know, Master P. And he was Southside bound, you know what I'm saying? So when he, when he finally came back, you know, me and him linked up. 
and um, we was doing our thing for for a few years, and um, and uh, one then you know then it just came about, you know, I guess when when Snoop and Trady got together and spoke about it or whatever, I guess that's when Snoop decided to say maybe we can continue the East Side project. We get Goldie down, you know what I mean, and we we'll make this happen. I can I see the vision, and so that, that's how the new the new East Side, you know, came about. And I, I don't. I don't, I don't recall going to go buy a, a Eastsiders record with other members. Okay. But uh, it, it was just something that they was thinking about doing. I don't think they really put it in motion. Well, from the time that y'all did it, man, y'all, like 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 Joey said, man, y'all mashed on the scene, man. And, and, and between y'all and, and, and Doggy's Angels and I think Cocaine was on the Doghouse roster, man. Like, yeah. that was a time for some good-ass music. Bro. That was, Yeah, like, hip-hop was I dope was, back I was then, homie. all of that shit, bro, so... So y'all was really uh, pushing the movement. And the East Siders movie, man, is is one of the dopest hood flicks, man, I may add. Um, you know what I'm saying? That I didn't ever watch. So so your role in that was was dope too, homie. Oh, yeah, good looking, man. That was the first time, you know, debut. Uh, <laughs> can, can we see any? You me running around having fun, man. Yeah, can, we see any new, can we see any acting coming from y'all anytime soon? Yeah, yeah, we're working with DJ Poole on this hood flick right now, man. We're getting something together, and we're going to do a documentary, Eastsiders documentary. Right. That, let's see, that, that's going to be big. I, I want to double back a second on something you had said a moment ago. You said, you know, you weren't actually telling people to go out and be Crips. What is, because I know you were OG, Goldie, so what what do you tell the young homies that's in the hood still active, homie? What What do you pull up on them and say? I say, man, find something to do besides what you're doing. <laughs> yes. You know, you, you know what I'm saying? And, and, and go and, and go work. You know what I mean? Go work. Find a find a trade. Get good with your hands. You know what I mean? And, and that's what I tell everybody. You know, uh, especially when people ask me for a job, I ask them, what do they do? Right. You know, the homies. You know, what, what y'all do? You know, y'all been going to school. I, you know, I've been doing my thing. What y'all been doing? You know, so you got to stay active and, and, and reach for your goals, but you got to set them first. Right, right. The hip-hop artists from the day when y'all was doing y'all thing, is it easier for these new cats to get in, or are they not even doing half the footwork y'all had to do? It's very easier for them to get in because now you have this computer, you have the internet, you know, you got the web that's doing a lot of work for them, you know, um, and 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 and, uh, and a lot of them really don't understand being a musician. They you know they just want to be a rapper. You know, um, you know. So it, it's it's easy for them to get in because you can you can come in independent and then you can turn around and sell your soul. So you got a lot of them selling their soul, and 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 it, it's crazy because it's going to damage it's going to damage our message. And the only and the only avenue we got out here to me seems like um, it, it is the music. So so um, we gotta we gotta show them how not to, to sell out anymore and stay on the independent and independent side of things. Right. Yeah, cause we've been talking to a couple couple independent artists, and it seems like and 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 first and foremost, cats need to look at y'all and the longevity that y'all put into it. And y'all did not have Twitter. Y'all did not have Facebook. Y'all had nothing but hot records and footwork. You feel yeah, me? And it was grown men uh, uh, running around here having business. Right. You know, uh, making thing, making life easier in the ghetto nowadays is all about materialistic things. You know, it, it don't make any sense. You know, um, uh, um, that's what this new record is going to be about. How to how to get both sides going on a on a positive mission. Yeah, man, enlighten us, man, real talk. You know, Deep been locked down for 10, 11 years, you know, and he's gotten very political about things, you know what I'm saying, about the message, the Black Power Movement, you know what I mean? So we pushing that real, real heavy, and, and it's, it's about time for some revolutionary music. Right, right. You know, cryptic music is already revolutionary, but, but we don't want to scare nobody, and we never intended to scare nobody. You know, we woke up a lot of people and, and got them off their rear end and, and, and got out in the streets and made things happen, created avenues for families and stuff like that, man. So so this new record is going to be cool because now we get to go out there and tell our perspective over the years of, of, of really what it 
is instead of lying to people, you know, uh, uh, and misleading our youth. Right. Now, I feel you 100%. But what, what, what do you say to the naysayers who are going to look at, and say, well, how Goldilocks and the East Siders, how the East Siders going to push a black movement, but they still rocking blue rags? I mean, we accept it. You know, we all, we all won as first, you know what I mean? I, I'm, not, I'm not out there starting no problem. Oh, no, 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 not at all. Uh, uh, but, you know, it's going to be, it's going to be some, you know, it's going to be some ups and downs. You know, we're not gonna we're not gonna label it as a black power movement a- album, you know, but it's it's gonna tell some knowledge in there to wake up the youth. You know, because um some people are already gonna say, Oh, well that ain't nothing but a bunch of blue rag music. Crip, 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 you know. Right. Oh you you know, that, we're gonna get that anyway. You know what I mean? But as long as the message is in that music, we don't care. Exactly. As you should. Exactly. As you should. And that's 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 some real life shit. Because nowadays, when I let these kids hear uh, some music that's knocking and is banging, they're afraid of it. So they don't want to like it. It's because they don't. They're afraid of it. They don't understand it. They think they think the deep voice is here to to punk them. Ah. Damn. <laughs> like that. And take and take they deal or take they situation that they got going on. But that's not what it is. Right. Okay. So, speaking of the youth and and the newer artists on the West, uh, who are some of your favorites as far as these new cats out here? I really don't have a favorite, bro. I'm going to be real honest with you, man. I really don't have no favorite. Bro. Maybe favorite was the wrong word. How about how about Who's how, in your playlist? Yeah. <laughs> My playlist? Yeah. Uh, you know, uh, uh, Nipsey, you know, YG, you know, they're keeping it, they're keeping it going, man. You know, they, they're keeping it going and, uh, I salute them, you know what I'm saying, for, for being out there in this, in this music game, you know, uh, uh, learning the ropes, you know, them, them, they learning, the boys is learning real fast and I, I salute them, you know, uh, much love, you know, to YG, you know, and Nipsey also out there putting it down. That, that's what we're dealing with, you know what I mean? That, that's what we're dealing with right now, man. Right. And we're going to continue to grow. I got a cannabis record that I'm doing. It's called Goldfinger Extractions. Yeah, and that, that's for the cannabis world right there. You know what I mean? I, I'm going to try to be done with that in a couple months. Get all these uh, uh, weed heads back on, on track and get another I Got Five on it or something going, you know? Man, man. Bring some more peace and love. You know, the, the marijuana, you know, the marijuana community always bring peace and love. It sure do. It don't matter where you from either, homie. At all. Real talk. Um, and we always thrived off of that community and mixed it in with our music. Exactly. So I'm really touching it this time instead of just putting a quote into a song of medical marijuana or whatever. I'm really in the industry and in the field doing my thing. Okay, so you mean to tell me next time I'm in the Long Beach area, because you know I am a patient, wh- where should I stop at to get to get my medicine? You can go to Venice Medical. Drop the address one time. 915 16th Street. Boom. Y'all heard it live and direct, man. Goldie Loke approval, stamp of approval. Venice, Venice M- Medical. Yes, sir. You uh, you indica, you sativa, Goldie Loke. Oh, man, I'm, I'm heavy in the good, bro. Say that I'm shit. heavy in the good. Yeah, I like the OGs. Yeah, like yeah. the OGs. I, I, but don't get me wrong, they got some sativas like the Tangy. The Tangy is real good. I like the, the concentrated, the, the, the sativa, the Tangy. So how long you been in the industry? Oh, man, I've been doing it for about like six years. Obviously, it, it's something that, that's lucrative because it's working for you. Oh, yeah, I love to see, uh, uh, you know, sick people, uh, medicate and then tell me they love it and they appreciate it and uh, where can they find me? you know what I mean uh, uh, I, love to, I love to bless people with the medicine man that's what just, just made me feel good that's what's had it that's what's had it now have you considered maybe maybe checking checking out the scene in Colorado uh, well high times coming up April in uh, Denver I'll be in Denver will you be performing also I'm, th- I'm trying to set it up, you know me. <laughs> yeah, please. Yeah, let yeah. to my boy Matt from High Times and trying to set it up. Yeah, let let, let us know. Yeah. 
And and man, we're gonna try to get there. Please believe it. Please believe it. Man. Yes, hell yeah, it's gonna be on and popping. But now let me ask your opinion on this concerning the industry. It's funny because banks won't accept money from legitimate uh collectives. Okay, well, well, you, well, 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 see, this is what me and my circle, we're going to open up our own bank. Really? See, that's the new key to the game is to open up your own bank. Okay. Okay. Control your own money. They don't take too much. They don't take too much to do it either. Is this a bank that I could deposit my money into, or is this a bank solely for the Goldilocks circle? No, uh, for anybody. Mm-hmm. It'll go public. You can go public with it. Yeah, you can go public with it. Okay. Well, shit. I guess, I guess you know, strong minds make big things happen, man. It's that simple. Yeah, because it roadblocks. Every time we run into a roadblock, we got to go to school for it, man. And it's the only way to to, 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 to be able to, to get it and learn it down pack is to either go to school for it and learn it or, or put somebody on the team who already know it. So that's the next step since they don't, you know, they, they don't want to. Uh, give us no interest on our money in the bank. And guess what? We'll buy our own bank. Bam. Man, you dropped And the next federal going to come in and try to tax us. Well, hey, guess what? Uh, we'll, we'll put it up under the corporation. Yeah. And write it off as a write-off. Wow. Drop- yeah, it's just... It's crazy, bro. <laughs> Jewels are being dropped today on high-end radio by Goldie Logue. Goldie Logue, the banker, ladies and gentlemen. You feel me? Get your uh, equities and home loans to uh, Goldie Logue uh, Bank and Associates and shit. <laughs> That's big, homie. We approving the gangsters. That's what's... Huh? You go from EBT to equity. <laughs> <laughs> Real shit. We on line with, with the legend, the, the, the OG, the big homie, Goldie Loco, the East Siders. Man, you want to give any shout-outs before we get up out of here? Oh, uh, man, much love to y'all, man, for keeping me tuned in. You know what I'm saying? And uh, everybody stay G'd up, man. Let's get it. Yes, sir. Boom. DJ Nightfall. Here's something you could dip to. Dip to the switch. Drink something like that. What the... What if you hear something you could dip to? Dip to the switch, drink something, light it up, what that do? Hear something you could dip to? Hit a switch, drink something, light it up, what that do? Hear something you could dip to? Hit a switch, drink something, light it up, light it up. Asalaamu Alaikum, pray as soon as I wake up. Read a couple of scriptures and then start my day up. Drink a shot of Folgers, holla at my soldiers. Bust down, shower, then five, then doja. Corn roll fresh, bank roll on deck. Trade three women, trade the cold vet. Long Beach, Compton. White South Central, hollering at door hanging out the window. Call the killer Cali, cause it's murder in the streets. Burner on the seat, still turning up the beat. Lifestyle G'd up, ready when the beat jump. Watch get pieced up, enemy sleezed up. Ben had my cheese up, still throwing C's up. I'm a beast, what? Khaki stay creased up. Honey spokes bleed up, dipping on three pumps. Boom, boom, out the moon with the E's up. Candy, paint, ass, high, get it. It's up, see your face while we dip to the music. Give it up, dip to the music. Give it up, the road, brakes don't crash, so go fast with the beat on blast the way we did. Lemon, 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 to the lemon, Here's something you can dip to. Hit a switch, drink something, light it up. What that do? Two to the nose, plus one to the nose. Fourteen batteries will make the back end dance. It's time to clown, trade, he laid a rag down. Loving how we swung that Jeep back around. We linked up with them West Coast pop lockers. Every Chevy that I ride been a jaw dropper. Bank in my set, strapped with the tech. Side, like each run up on me, get wet. I'm a sea walking animal, two stepping criminal inside my trunk. I'm slapping that G phone, bounce rock, skate on things, golds, chipping up the concrete, five dubs rolling. Sound like we got a slumber for the summer. Two or three licks, and we touching back. Bump. High end radio, nigga, on the sickness network.